Hey everybody, it's Lisa Burningham and I'm so glad that you're here with me. Today we're going to be doing some interior design using flowers. I'm going to show you how to make a beautiful orchid flower arrangement. I'm going to show you a few easy steps of how you can make it and you'll be making flower arrangements like a pro. Flowers are a popular and stylish way to beautify your home. You can make a simple, cost-effective flower arrangement or centerpiece that can add an elegant touch to your home decor. I hope this orchid arrangement tutorial will provide you with some inspiration so you can make your own. If you're looking for DIYs, home decor, party ideas, or holiday entertaining, then I would love to have you subscribe to my channel. I post weekly videos on all things home and style, and I would love to have you join me. The first thing that you're going to want to do is find an inspiration piece. It could be in a magazine, it could be online, it could be inspired by your favorite flower or perhaps the color of your flower that fits in with your existing decor. My inspiration piece was from Hor Chow and it was an orchid arrangement. However, it was $950 and I was not going to spend $950 on arrangement, so I thought I'd make it myself for a fraction of the cost. Inspiration is everywhere, so choose an arrangement that fits your specific taste and style. There are so many different styles of arrangements that you can choose from. In my home, I have tall, symmetrical flower arrangements, I have wide centerpieces, and in my dining room, I have wall sconces that I put a flower arrangement inside of. You can also use different things like feathers or glass reflective surfaces. I have glass balls that really take an ordinary arrangement and elevate it into something unique and special. I love the elegant feel of orchids. I purchased mine at Michael's and used my 30% off coupon. The flat green leaves were a perfect size and shape and the succulents will add extra interest and detail to my arrangement. The next thing you're going to need to do is get some kind of a container. You can get a vase or a box. I found this at TJ Maxx. It's very similar to the inspiration piece and it was only $14.99. So after you found your container, what we're going to do is we're just going to fill it up with floral foam to form a base on the bottom of our container and then we'll secure it together with floral pins. A solid or opaque colored container will hide the floral foam and any other mechanics of your arrangement. I used a knife to cut my floral foam to the right size so they'd fit together like a puzzle and I would have one solid base. Then I secured them together with floral pins so the foam wouldn't shift or move when I added the flowers. On top of our floral foam, we're going to add some floral moss. I got this at the Dollar Tree and what we're going to do is put it on top of the floral foam and we're going to spread it out evenly until it's all nice and covered. Break up the block of moss and spread it out evenly until all of the floral foam is hidden. This floral moss is also really great for gaps in your foam because you can just press it inside and will make your base that much more secure. Pack the moss firmly into any nooks and crannies. This will give your base added stability. Once your moss is in place, tack it down with more floral pins placed randomly throughout your arrangement. The pins will help keep the moss in place. Now it's time to add our flowers. There is such a huge variety of flowers that you could choose from. You could add pastel colors for spring. You could add vibrant colors for the summer. You could add leaves and pine cones and berries for the fall and the winter. I opted to go with this white orchid because it's such a beautiful and elegant flower and it will fit into my existing decor and I can use it all year long. As a rule, your tallest flowers or branches should be one and a half times the height of your container or vase. So the taller the flower, the taller the container. What you're going to want to do is place your large floral stems in first. I have five orchid stems and what I'm going to do is I'm going to place them in my arrangement first and kind of get a rough estimate of where I want them and then I can adjust the size and the shape that I want them to be. An odd numbered arrangement looks more natural and less forced than an even numbered collection. Flowers are beautiful, but you can always find ways to improve their appearance. Consider removing excess leaves or small buds that detract from the beauty of a single flower. There is no need to rush while you're arranging. This is the fun part. If you're not getting the look you want, play with the size and placement of your stems. Bend and twist the flowers until you get the look you want. Just remember to let the beauty of the flowers guide you. Now that our flowers are in place, we're going to add some bamboo right along the side of it. 
I already have this bamboo, so this isn't going to cost me anything. And then I got this raffia at the Dollar Tree. What I'm going to do with the raffia is I'm going to tie it around the bamboo and around the floral stem so that they're tied tightly together. I placed the bamboo about one half inch away from each of the orchid stems and then tied them together with a simple knot. The bamboo will give your orchid stem added strength so it won't bend or topple over. When you're done tying your knot, simply snip off any excess raffia. Now it's time to add our leaves and our succulents to the base of our arrangement. These leaves are from Michaels and I'm just going to trim these right off so I'll have some stems. And then also, on these succulents from the Dollar Tree, all I need to do is just pop these right out of this little pot and I can place them in my arrangement. I cut my stems with scissors, but you could also use wire cutters. And then I easily pulled my succulents out of the pot. We're gonna place our leaves in our container in areas that are found naturally on an orchid plant. And then if there's any gaps or spaces in between the leaves, that's where we're gonna add our succulents. I poked my leafy stems at the base of each orchid, but made sure they weren't too clumped together. By giving the orchids space and room to breathe, it allows each stem and leaf to stand out on its own and creates a beautiful sense of depth and volume that is light and airy. And finally, adding the succulents finishes off our arrangement. I am so happy with the completed look. This project was easy to do and will be a timeless piece of home decor. The arrangement is an almost identical match to my inspiration piece, but came in at a much more reasonable price. After adding up all of the costs of the materials, including the flowers, the foam, the succulents, the leaves, and the container, it was around $50, which is $900 less than my inspiration piece. And considering the size and scale of this arrangement, that is a great deal. Decorate your home with a beautiful floral arrangement. Create a custom one-of-a-kind piece to suit your distinctive style and taste. The next time you need a centerpiece or even a gift, go ahead and make your own flower arrangement. They're so simple to do and they really make a room come alive. I hope you enjoyed this orchid flower arrangement tutorial. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you wanna see other DIYs or home decor, then check out my other videos. Whether large or small, artificial or real, flowers have a way of brightening your day. I hope you enjoyed this orchid arrangement tutorial. If you're looking for other ways to decorate with flowers, then check out my DIY glass face display. And as always, thank you so much for watching.